A periodontal examination and probing helps your dentist diagnose the gum diseases gingivitis and periodontitis and also checks for receding gums, exposed roots, tooth grinding, bruxism, and other problems. Here's what your dentist will evaluate during a periodontal examination and what to expect. Oral cancer screening of the inner cheeks or tongue. Missing or loose teeth. The color, texture, size, and shape of your gums. Condition of any restorations, such as fillings, crowns, bridges, dentures, or implants. Tooth plaque. The depth of the space between tooth and gum. Gum bleeding during probing. Gum recession. How teeth fit together when you bite. In addition to the periodontal examination, you also may need x-rays of your teeth. X-rays help us to determine the extent and pattern of bone loss around each tooth. You also may need an x-ray of your entire head, known as a panoramic radiograph. This type of picture provides information about other important structures in your skull, such as the maxillary sinuses and jaw joints, TMJ. Probing. Periodontal measurements can be taken by any dentist, as well as by a dental hygienist. Spaces or pockets that are deeper than normal indicate gum disease, either gingivitis, the early stage, or periodontitis, more advanced disease. A periodontal probe, which is nothing more than a tiny millimeter ruler with a blunt tip, is used to measure these spaces. The probe slides between the tooth and gum at various places around each tooth to measure the depth of the spot where the gum attaches to the tooth. Healthy gums adhere tightly to the tooth so that the probe penetrates only one millimeter to three millimeters. Disease gums tend to swell and detach from the tooth forming what are known as pockets. In advanced forms of periodontitis, pockets measuring 4, 5, 6 millimeters and up are cause for concern and require immediate attention. This means that much of the soft tissue and bone anchoring the tooth in place has been lost.